So for today, we're going to be looking at Titans more specifically. We're going to be looking at the Galahorn sets that we got for you guys. We're going to be looking at the individual pieces. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor, which is right here, and the shader videos, which is right here. And then the Hunters, you guys already have your armor sets. They're right here as well. So quickly, we're going to just be looking at the armor pieces from the Galahorn set and then making individual sets with those pieces. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Titans. Let me know what you guys think about some of these sets because I do think some of these sets are absolute bangers. But before we get into the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. And hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it considering I post a lot. Um, I've taken a few, uh, probably what, two to three weeks off now, which means just re like posting less than I usually do. But I think next week, hopefully the new job doesn't pr like put too much pressure that way i can keep posting content for y'all but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet fenrir's bane helm and i absolutely love this set i think this one is amazing for the arms nightly noir gauntlets for the chest piece nemean plate for the boots we're going to be using the mark 44 standicides and then finala's iron mark for the mark so for the shadering iron bone this set, I think, is really, really such a good start to this video because it is really leaning into that nightly look. I think the nightly noir gauntlets with the Nemean plates is such a good combo, especially with the Mark 44 standard size because there's so much engraving in this that it legitimately makes me look like a crusading knight. Uh, the Finalis Iron Mark is also a great choice as well. That being said, you can use like the Witcher one. The Witcher one would be really cool because it is just chainmail. But I personally think the Finalis Iron Mark is a little bit better. And then Iron Bone specifically because I wanted that chrome color. I wanted that like silver, like I'm going to go out and battle some fucking zealots, bro. That helmet honestly just is such a banger and I love this set. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is my favorite set in this video. I think it's amazing. That being said, it's not the same how I have it now. Uh, specifically, if you guys saw my... Uh, when is this video coming out? I think this one is coming out. Today's Friday. Is, uh... So this, this is most likely going to be coming out on Monday. Which, if that is the case, you guys will... If you guys saw the weekly uh, like last call video, you guys will see that I actually showcased this armor set. But the boots were different and the shadering was different. That is the one that I'm currently wearing. This is an old one that I use. And I still think it looks cool. It's just the fact that the boots and the shadering is just different. But for the helmet adamantine rebirth for the Lorelei Splendor is what we're using. Fenrir's Bane Gauntlets and the Bane's Mark as well. The Veiled Tithe Plate with the Phoenix Strife Type O. So for the shadering, Dreaming Spectrum specifically because the Fenrir's Bane Gauntlets takes different color you can actually even notice it on this shader and this is crazy considering dreaming spectrum usually you it'll combine all of the colors into one color which is bone this one you can see that the chest piece is a little bit different than the arms the arms has a little bit more of i want to say like it's a little bit more saturated i guess you would say compared to the bone color of the chest piece but either way i still think it looks amazing that being said i do think the new look looks way better if i have a picture of it i'll show you right now the shader is, um, I actually don't remember the shadering. Um, give me one second. So for the shadering, it's actually Gamekeeper. That is one from Eververse. And I definitely think it's worth a pickup because I think it makes it look amazing. And it combines all of the armor into one color, which is really, really cool. That is going to be your biggest problem if you want to copy this armor set. Is just the fact that the shadering is going to be really, really annoying. But let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, which is, this is kind of funny considering the Iron Play Tournament is the new look that I used for the one that we just saw. But... This one, I'm going to be honest with you guys, is the weakest one in the video. Um, I'm not saying it's bad by any means. I think it's pretty cool. I just would switch some pieces around, specifically the boots. I think the boots are not a good choice for this. But for the helmet, Lorelei Splendor, just the default look. For the arms, Radiant Breaker Gauntlet, specifically because I like to combine it with the Lorelei Splendor. So there can be a little bit more fire. Fenrir's Bane Plate is what we're using for this one. The Iron Plate Ornament and then the Kier Morin's Mark. So the shadering is Regal Daring. Uh, get used to this because I think the next one we use it again. This one's not a bad look. I think it's it has potential. Um, my biggest gripe, I think, is just the fact that maybe I should have used the Fenrir's Bane Mark with the chest piece because it looks really, really cool. Almost like, like it's an actual... Uh, like it's combined with the actual chest piece. So I would actually say if you want to take this look, I would take the Fenrir's Bane Mark instead. That one's going to look a lot better. The 
the boots i would actually use the boots from the last one the uh, crucible ones i think that one would be a, a lot better and honestly i would probably try to get a better helmet or just something different another exotic because i don't think it looks that good with the lorelei splendor that being said you could probably use uh this exotic has an ornament let me see which one it is real quick the cadmus ridge lance cap specifically the ornament that it got for the chivalrous chival chivalry's chill that one's gonna look really really cool with it i was thinking about using it but a i don't have that ornament and honestly i'm i'm not the biggest fan of it even though like you can make some cool sets with it it's just the fact that like i would have preferred it if it was the whole helmet was intact and maybe the ice was coming out of like some of the holes instead of just beard ice but let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least, we're going to be using the Fenrir's Bane Greaves. This one is really, really cool because it actually looks like everything goes together really, really well. So for the helmet and the arms, we're going to be using the Sunlit Helm and Gauntlets. For the chest piece, it's going to be the Crest of Alfie Lupi. For the boots, it's going to be the Fenrir's Bane Greaves. And then for the Mark can Candescent Mark. So I really love how this came out. Um, I really love the fact that the chest piece and the boots almost have this sense of like connectedness because both are black and it also looks like i'm wearing a onesie which i think looks really cool when it comes to like wearing armor i just feel like that makes sense like you would actually go into the armor like there would be a zipper behind like your armor and then you would go into it like that i think that's where my head goes when i try to combine the under armor of armor i try to do that so that way it looks like it's an actual armor set and not just like I put pants on this on this on this set and then everything looks like dis disconnected i hate that so i really really like this a lot because even with the arms you guys will see that it has black underneath and it's armor over it which is really really cool um i really have nothing to say about this one this one is specifically leaning into engravings like the first set and i think this one came out really well because the engravings go so well like i legitimately want to say this is the best one but i can't really say that in good conscience considering the first and second one are just absolute bangers but i will say this is the best one um or i should say this is the third best one because the third one is the worst one i think in my opinion so let me know what you guys think titans did i do you guys justice let me know in the comments below i appreciate you guys coming up to this point remember i will have some more content for you guys in the future if you guys want to see me post some other things or some other games let me know in the comments below i'll definitely get started on it but other than that be safe i will see you guys later